gas sensing company. We're over 30 years old, uh, based in the northeast of the UK. We've been providing gas solutions to um, beverage and hospitality, to military customers on boats and submarines, um, and we do a mix of kind of commercial products, but also bespoke um, customer-led projects as well. We first started using SolidWorks back in 2001-ish um, and then we went away from it and we went to Warsaw CAD and then we've come back to SolidWorks and we've been using it ever since really. Um, it's just a much easier program to use than anything else really on the market. Well, AutoCAD's just not good for 3D design. I'd used SolidWorks at previous places as well, so I was pleased to find it when I got here. The speed of use, you know, it seems easy to use, um, for the guys who are living in it day to day. Um, it also, we get a really good level of support from using it as well. There's a really strong community of people around it. The, the company themselves and CADTech, we get great support from them. Things like Visualize, Composer and PDM. Those are the bits that are really useful to us. And it's, it's control over workflow and, and, and being able to collaborate on stuff. One of the really powerful things about having, having something like SolidWorks as a tool and, and what's changed our industry completely is that very early on with a customer, if it's an opportunity, say, to rebrand something that already exists or it's an opportunity to uh, develop a new, sort of an updated version of something that we already have, we can very quickly take those models, uh, reapply stickers and things like that and show them what their product might start to look like. We can visualise really quickly. You start to be able to see very quickly the kinds of challenges that you would have had. So we, you chew through iterations a lot more quickly. If you do rapid prototype something, you have a greater chance of that being kind of what you want when it comes back. Um, but it also allows, it also enables things like, um, we've used the eDrawings app to take to shows on iPads. Taking a tiny kind of printed sheet of paper or whatever with a QR code on it, pointing an iPad at it, and you can see it to the correct scale in the room, it's, you know, it's not there physically, you can't touch it, but you can open the door, you can look inside, we can show people where, you know, say a, a gas sensing path is, so show them where the tubing is that they'll have to maintain, show them where the bench is. All of that just helps bring alive the product. You can do a building instruction using Composer, basically in a couple of days maybe, whereas before you actually having to build the product, take photos while you're building it, then write, write the procedure out. Composer is kind of our new favourite. We're starting to experiment now where a product, instead of having written instructions, has a series of animations and pictures put together in Composer. So for us, the model is critical because where we have to manage the product through its life, and we can update things like build instructions by just updating an image or just updating the model it pulls from. So it's incredible. PDM has been a really important cultural change for us because up until that point, we had lots of manual processes for controlling changes to documents. And what's really powerful about PDM is, for example, me and the management team, we get notification on our desktop when we have to sign something off or when we have to review something and authorise it. So that's been really, really good at getting us engaged with what we have to do. And when you audit it, it's in the right place. Um, and so that, that's incredibly useful.